Welcome, welcome. We are joined by just the uh, consummate video analyst, uh, cartoons, anime, fairy tale apologist. <laughs> How you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, that's good to hear. Uh, so yeah, this is just a quick interview. We're going to ask a few questions um, just to get your mind on a few things, um, how you go about your content creation. Um, even though we have uh, criticized your fairy tale video, you yourself have found it to be a problem these days. What are your issues with it? Oh, well, uh, I, I just really, I, I hate that video, honestly. <laughs> You see, it was it was my first dip into really longer form content, and since it was so much that I was having to sort of take it at once, I thought that the best idea for the video would be if I went arc by arc talking about it. But you see, I hadn't watched all the arcs yet, so I Ooh. basically just did a bend through of the series, and as I was watching it, I was writing the script, which is a terrible thing to do. And that's um, funny, because a lot of content creators do that, and I find it to be a terrible practice. And you really can't you know like hey this was foreshadowed here when you don't know exactly what's coming up later so i could see why you like oh yeah i could have talked about this a little bit more but i remember in the video you did talk about when um natsu and gajio tried to go through that barrier but they were stopped you were like oh but it comes up later so yeah yeah, yeah there's still good things yeah there's in still it. good things in the video yeah um but a lot of my arguments, I, I felt like because I didn't actually watch through the whole series and get all my notes and all that together before I made the video, I didn't have as strong of points as I could have had because I didn't really get my thoughts together when I was talking about a lot of them. And I mentioned Nuxtaku quite a few times in that video. I really wish that I hadn't. I feel like if I were to remake that video now, I could make completely original points and actually have a point to it and not have it be it mostly recapping because that's what a lot of it is I, yeah, the I think recap I, in the synopsis was a bit of an issue yeah i feel like if i remade that video now i can make it much more concise basically have no need for recapping besides like minor stuff you know but actually going into it on an analytical level like i do in more recent videos do you have an interest in going back to it though yeah i do okay I look forward to it because uh, you think it's gonna be that long because that was that was a chunky boy. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be as long, but you know it all depends. Okay, um, how long does it take you from start to finish to do a video? Scripting, uh, we're gonna take away consuming the media, just scripting, recording, editing. If you do it yourself or send it off to someone else. Well, I mean that really depends on length. What about, hmm, so I watched your uh, Mr. Enter video. Oh, uh, yeah? How long did that one take? Uh, disregarding, like, watching the content, uh, a little over two weeks, you know, it takes about, it took about, uh, well, actually, no, more like three weeks. It's about a few days for scripting, a few days for voicing, and then around two weeks or so for editing. Oh, no. Which I... of those three do you think is the most problematic thing when it comes to video making? Uh, the hardest part for me is voicing. I, I just don't like using my voice, and I just like having to constantly replay it and look back on it, try to level out the audio to make sure it's not at weird levels at certain points and all that. Hey, you are amongst friends, because I hate mm -hmm. listening to my voice. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite and least favorite video of yours? Disregarding the fairy tale video, because that's an early work, and you really just don't like it anymore. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, well, my favorite video uh, out of all the ones I've made, hmm, yeah, that's a tough one. I need to actually look at my own content, because... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Believe, believe, <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, I don't really think about my content all that much. Yeah. Hey, it's the same for us. People will quote us things we said, and we'll go, when was this? Mm-hmm. They'll, yeah. they'll, they'll show us video, they'll show us actual clips, and I won't know what video it comes from. Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel like, um, one of my best videos, uh, might be the, uh, either the Disney one or the Eden Zero one. Those are, like, some of the ones I find are, like, some of my best accomplishments. Okay. The, the, are you talking about the Disney, um, the Disney movies? No, 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 the, it, it's a one, it's one about, um, Disney as a company. Okay. 
Though I do like that one as well. Yeah, I, that's the one that I like. <laughs> mm-hmm. I haven't seen the Disney as a company one yet. Yeah. Uh, what was your inspiration for starting to do YouTube videos? Um, well, you know, it was actually people who are around my age, you know, uh, people that I, most of, most of them I actually know nowadays. So people like Daft Pina, um, Turkey Tom, that, those kind of people. Um, I wanted my, with my name, people always ask me, why is your name just stop? A major reason for why I had it originally was because it was supposed to be like a, a statement that I would put at like all the video titles. So it'd start with just stop this or just stop that. Uh, but then I, I kind of abandoned that idea pretty early on and just sort of oh, stuck okay. with the name. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. I never actually knew that. Yeah. That You know what? I feel like it's both good and kind of cringy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, when, was there something that made you look at media more analytically, or was it just something that happened over time? Just sort of something that happened over time. Uh, a thing early on is that I, I would watch a lot of reviews and I'd wonder, why can't I think like that? So I just sort of grew into that mindset more often as That's time went. interesting, because I, I never had to look at reviews or anything. It's just something that kind yeah, of just... happened. But to mm-hmm. have something to point to and be like, I have, this is where it was, I think that that's better than just a slow gradual. And because it's hard to talk to somebody else about, you know, hey, I want to get into being more analytical and making reviews and that type of thing. And it's hard to go, yeah, this was the thing that called it for me. Yeah. Um, the, I feel like one... I just sort of, I just sort of gradually got better at making videos. I, I gradually learned how to actually make it the, like a fair video, make it so it's something that is able to be agreed upon, not something that's based solely on just, um, you know, emotion or things like that. And I don't like overly, I don't like overly synopsis analytical videos um there's a content creator called dbz emran who does a lot of synopsis and i find it just uh doldrums and i also don't like too much emotional of just like hey i like it so you just like it like it made yeah, all I, sore with this moment it seems <laughs> like that yeah it was like that when i was like 14 but i quickly <laughs> grew out of that and, it's good to quickly grow, grow out of and it. And I'm glad you did grow out of it because it's it's still so prevalent in the YouTuber space right now. Uh, what's something you'd like to see more of and less from content creators? Um, well, obviously, I'd like to see... Um, I guess what I'd like to see less of from, from content creators is just having a synopsis without a point, you, you know, like nostalgia critic type content, you know, like I have friends who do that sort of content in a way, but they do it in an interesting way. And a lot of the time I just see people who will like, uh, they'll watch, they'll make her, they'll make what they call a review or they'll, uh, watch a video or whatever. And they'll just sort of comment on what is happening without really adding their own commentary to it. Agreed. And that's sort of always, yeah. It's a lot of, um, Hey, here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. And then a quick, here's why it's good. And then moving on to here's what's going on. Here's what's going on. Uh huh. And something you'd like to see more of? Hmm. Because something I'd like I know to... in the Mr. Enter video, editing was a sticking point for you. Yeah. Um, I, I would like people to generally up their production values because a lot of people. Uh, generally don't seem to <clears throat> try that much when it comes to editing or they're just unknowledgeable in editing. And I find that the people who make reviews and such that I enjoy the most are those that uh, do have exceptional editing. And editing is because um, we are former but always current uh, uh, anime music video editors. So editing mm-hmm. is something that you just got to keep working at yeah. and get good at. And I understand yep. early works, your editing is not going to be as good. But it's so hard to see these creators that are four, five, six years deep into their YouTube channel still putting out Windows Movie Maker work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of the thing that I'm talking about. It's just like, there, it can be serviceable up to a point, but after a while you just have to look at it and wonder why they're not improving anymore. 
yeah, you there's an expectation of growth. And yeah. once you hit that threshold, I don't know, it's going to be different for everybody. Some people is going to be 15 videos, say. Other people is going to be like three years. But it's always going to be a slow and gradual improvement. Unless you're just stuck in a style. Like um, back in the uh, MLP days, there was somebody called Digibro who just essentially was just his avatar in the corner and then what was, whatever was going on in the show up at the top left. And that was just the style. Nothing ever really changed until they moved on to other things. But some people are just stuck in those ways. And it's like, this is my style. But I think that it should definitely grow and improve. Wow. And I feel like, but I feel like getting stuck in your style could be... Not um, tedious, kind of generic for your channel if you're not at least doing things visually interesting. Yeah, definitely. Which mm-hmm. is, which is something I wanted to ask. Um, you have a long hair and a short hair avatar. Is there is it a reason why you just switch between the two of them, or did you retire one of them? Oh well, that's just sort of a thing that I do each year. Is that with each successive year, I like to get a new set of stills. Okay, you draw them yourself, or you get somebody else to do them. I commission different artists. There you go. Pay your artist, people. Um, so, was the Trigger Senpai video the first time you engaged with the response video? Um, on a live stream, I think so. Uh, I know I've seen other videos that have tried to criticize me and such, and uh, sometimes I leave a comment, sometimes I don't. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about them for the most part? Well, um... I've yet to come across a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> the trend one notwithstanding, because we all know that was absolutely yeah. horrible. We are... Mm-hmm. So, Saturday, we're trying to make it our last stream for that video. Which it won't be. And it, his points are so horrific. You are a smart, smart man to pass over that hallucination point. Yeah, I mean, that was completely incoherent. <laughs> So, like, like so much of it, because he just he he believes it to be so, and then he he tries to make points, and it's like that's not even anything what's going on. And that's really something I didn't like in that video was him trying to discredit you by just going, "Oh, but you like X thing, but you're criticizing Demon Slayer." Like, it's the I don't understand. Um. Yeah, that's a common sort of. It it feels a very Tactic. much like um debate broy where it's just I can't beat you I can't counter this point at all I can't counter it at all so I'm gonna talk over you and make you look lesser so I look yeah. better yeah the, I think what I was looking for was it, it's a sort of diversionary tactic it's not meant to actually the the entire point is that it's a it's attacking the character of the person who made the argument rather than the argument itself yeah and it's it's such a poor way to criticize a, a video and a content creator. Especially, uh-huh. There was a specific point where the whole Nezuko is sleep for two years point, you were just like, it's, it just happens. It never happens again. What's, what's the deal with this? And he doesn't even address the point, and he just goes straight yeah. into the fairy tale and the masturbation thing. It's like, oh, come on now. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to tell you, uh, we got really mad at that video. Because mm-hmm. the him projecting... That you don't have friends, that you don't have a life, girlfriend. It just pissed us off really bad. I found it really funny that he uh, he mentioned that he brought a girl home so that they could watch Demon Slayer. <laughs> Dude, why would that be? Why would you go, yo, bae, come up to the room so we can watch Demon Slayer, even though you don't like anime at all? Mm. And then try to brag about it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, your content is pretty varied from um, anime, cartoons, movies, criticizing companies, criticizing other content creators. Is there mm-hmm. a particular topic you favor more than the others? Do you like talking uh, about anime more, manga more, whatever? Um, well, yeah, I, I left commentary last year, so I haven't really done anything on that in a year. But um, I, I do like talking about anime and manga, but... Generally, those don't get the same kinds of views, so I tend to stick more to cartoons and stuff like that, which I also quite enjoy. That's your anime and manga stuff doesn't get views. Uh, more recently, it okay. hasn't gotten as many views. I still don't even understand that. So yeah, I... it, it can be varied sometimes, but I feel like if I were to make one of my hyper detailed, l- long form types of 
videos on anime or manga, it would do better. Because mostly I've done shorter stuff as of recent with anime and manga stuff. Oh, but you did do that really long Gintama one, though. Yeah, that was a while back, yeah. Uh, you made a video, like I said earlier, about uh, Mr. Enter that was essentially you trying to find ways or help him to improve editing, uh, scripting, that type of thing. Did you get any pr uh, pushback on that? And have you watched anything recently from him where you've seen that he's improved? Because I know in the video, you did say you saw something recently that you really enjoyed. I think it was a uh, techno something. I can't remember what the series Oh, Technocracy. Yeah, 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 that was... that's what it was. Uh, oh, so yeah, have you was... seen anything recently you really enjoyed or saw that he improved? Uh, well, that video was back in 2020. Um, I kind of feel like he's actually devolved a little bit oh, since then. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, kind of gone back sort of to his older ways a bit. Uh, his editing has sort of downgraded. Uh, and that's the thing. Uh, the only pushback I got from people who actually were involved with Fender was uh, his worst editor, Star Giant Productions, who no longer <laughs> works for him. Well, I understand that because you were really pushing them on that one. But yeah. the editing and was so poor because it's so funny because you have a little point where you re-edit it with the like mm -hmm. Star Wars thing going up the mountain and going into the cave. And it looks so yeah. much better. Yeah. Um, so she said, uh, the, the person, um, she said that my editing isn't as, that good either. And she also said that it's okay because Inter is okay with it. Okay, that that's just be okay. You that's just someone either not taking pride in their work or not caring at all. And they also you, considered themselves uh, John's best editor. Oh which no, which is objectively not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just. Well, uh, of course, you're gonna big yourself up. I understand gonna... bigging yourself up, but once you look at your work compared to somebody else, because I can look at a video I make and go, "No, this is just better." Your work was not as good. How can you be mad at that? And then to go, just stop. Your editing isn't good either. That's just them admitting theirs isn't good, mm -hmm. but yours also isn't. Mm -hmm. Which is a lie. <laughs> Did you hear anything from Mr. Enter himself? Um, I know that someone mentioned it to him when he was like streaming once and he just said that he didn't want to do it because he didn't want more negativity in his life or something like that. Which is understandable from a, a mental health issue type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But but some, with something like that, um, you would think that he would be more receptive to criticisms and stuff. Because I know Daft Pina also did a video on Mr. Enter. But that was more mm -hmm. on the, um, I think he had a Kickstarter or something. That, yeah. Yeah. So you'd think he'd be more receptive when you've got a couple of big YouTubers coming at you and going, hey, these are ways that you can improve. Not really snarky, not really insulting, but just, hey, these are s small things that We're you can We're trying to improve. help you. You know, you can be stuck in your ways. It'd be unfortunate if you were, but here's what you can do to improve. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Like I said, it was going to be a short one. Yep. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, oh, one of our fans. And you know what? I don't even care. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> we're going to get out of here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So thanks for joining us. Um, if we ever want to do anything in the future with another interview, uh, we have your Discord. Mm -hmm. And if you ever need anything from us, just let us know. All right. Yep, yep. All right, bye. Bye.